Power Director is an app that I cannot recommend enough. This thing is very easy and simple to use and yet you can do some really great things with it. The only downside is that it's not available for iPhone. What I would do if I have an iPhone, I would go uh, on YouTube and tap in top five iPhone uh, video editing apps. That's what I did to find this one for Android. Um, basically, very easy to use. You put new project, um, project name, I'll just leave it as a date, press OK. Uh, at the top here, these are all your uh, folders that have video on them in your phone, uh, both from your phone and from an SD card, if you have an SD card uh, on, in your phone. Here you can choose uh, images, uh, and here you can choose music to add to your phone. These are all my music folders. Um, so you go into video, um, I'm going to put together like a really quick little clip just to show you guys. Uh, I'm going to start with my camera folder. I'm going to choose a clip, press plus, that's how easy it is. Or you can hold and drag if you want to put it in between other clips. Um, press play. You have to have a DSLR camera and a microphone like that. And then so basically the video clip goes down here and you can scroll through it and you can zoom out to see the whole thing or you can zoom in if you want to get really detailed down to the microsecond uh, and it'll show you a preview of what you're doing up here. You can basically, this, this is where, this is the marker where you're at on the preview. Um, play. You have to have a DSLR camera and a microphone like that and then. So here's how, to, here's how, basically how easy it is to edit. You press play. And I want to cut out this little piece. And you have to I want it to start, I want the video to start with you. So I'm going to zoom, zoom in because I want to cut out a really tiny piece. And right here I think. And you select the clip that you want to edit. And this is the cutting tool. Okay, you press cut. And then now you have two clips. You have this clip and you have this clip. So you press on this clip. Here's a trash can trash done you just clipped it you have to have a dslr camera and a microphone like that and then you're considered a real vlogger so basically that's how you cut the front of the clip now at the very end there's also a little piece that i don't want to use um i, I noticed that your hand went down a little right bit right here <laughs> oh, Abby, I can see that. that's where i want to stop it right so i go Abby, I press play that. stop again select the thing select the clip cut this little portion I don't want to use cut it right there okay this is video editing guys this is how I do it it takes a while because it's very meticulous there's little details um, but editing takes a long time if you want to do video then uh, that's just how it is so what I want to do I got this little clip it's about 30 seconds I want to add some drone footage uh, I go I press on this button this is where you select your media your picture your video your uh, uh, so, a song that you want to use. Uh, so I, I click on this and I want to add uh, my drone footage. This is my SD card folder. This is my drone footage. Add. Little plus. Play. This is what my drone footage looks like. It's muted. It's got no music. It's got nothing. Uh, this is the second clip for my drone footage. And actually, what I want to do is, I put this together earlier. Um, I want, I, I want to flip these around. So I have this little clip right here and they're stuck together, right? Because I edited them together earlier. But I want to separate them and switch them. I want this clip to be in front of this clip. So since they're one video, technically, um, I can just cut it, right? I select it, press the cut tool, play it for a couple seconds till it switches to the other video, press the cut tool, zoom right in so I can see that little tiny clip that I want to cut out, cut, and now I have two, two clips. So now I can select this one that I want to be in front, hold it, and scoot it over here. Okay, now it's in the front. This is, this is it guys, this is how easy it is. Now I have three clips, that's it. Now I have three clips in the order that I want them, okay? I have my friends hanging out with my friends here. 
I have one drone shot. I have one drone shot. I have the other drone shot. Um, music. Okay, in this app you can put two layers of sound. So I can record separate audio here and then put a, a song track down here. So this, I mean, this thing's got options. For being a phone app, you can put two, two uh, um, audio clips. Um, basically, where do I get, I may as well do this now. Where do I get my music? Um, I, I use a website now, but I, that was a recent development. Right now, uh, just until recently, uh, very simple, YouTube. I went on YouTube, open the app, type in, let me, let me flip it this way. Type in, uh, you know, copyright free music. There it is. Bam. You don't want to use copyrighted music, like the stuff on the radio, because you can get a strike for that. And here you have a bunch of um, channels that have copyright free music, okay? And a bunch of songs that are copyright free. One of my favorite channels is NCS. No copyright sounds. Um, I've already looked through some of them and I picked, they, they upload pretty much like every other day. So they always have new music. So you're not going to be using music that's been used about a thousand times. There's this one right here. This is the song I wanted to use. Um, basically what I do to download it, go here on this share button, scroll down a bit, copy link, that's copied. Go to Google search, type in uh, YouTube, YouTube to MP3. There we go, that's already there. And pretty much the very first one, online video converter or any other one um, will work. Sorry about these lines, this is what my camera does to my screen. <laughs> very easy. You. There's a little option to put the link in, paste, go. Your video is being processed. And download. Okay, back to the app. I go into, press this button, this is where the media is. Go into my music, my downloaded music, and it's this one here. Select it, same thing. Press the plus button, it dro drops it right below. So now that means that my video has sound over it, has a song over it. You have with camera and a microphone. You hear that? Then you're considered a real That's player. the music. The only reason I didn't now, really, I didn't need the extra quality. <laughs> so basically, uh, I'm talking in the video, so I don't want it to be too loud. I don't want the song to overpower my voice. So I can turn down. Uh, the volume of just the song, right? I just wanted to look cool. <laughs> well, that's, oh, by the way, I don't think Ooh, that's way too loud. Uh, you have to pay attention to how a song goes. So there's usually always like a, an exciting part of the song. And this song, um, it's right around the one one minute mark. You see that drop right there? That's what I like to put in the beginning of my drone footage because it just adds like a dramatic effect and it just enhances the awesomeness of the drone footage. So, uh, the problem is it's all the way here, right? That drop is all the way here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some of this song so that it moves over to all the way over here. This is where my drone footage starts. I want that part of the song to be here, so I need to cut out a certain amount of music. So I go here, I click on it, cut, same thing as the video. Click on this little clip, bam, take this, I move it over, and let's see where it's at now. So, that's where the drop is. So I want to move the music even more this way. 
here's an easy way to cut video or and, and audio. Uh, you can just select it here, take this little knob and move it over. Boop. However much I need to move it. And now I scoot this over here. <laughs> now I moved it too much. So I gotta move it over just a little like this and see how see that's where it's at. So I want to put a little black screen between us talking and the drone footage just for added effect. What I can do, media, uh, in the video section, you can choose color board and you can just, I can just choose a black screen and drag it in between these two clips. And now, for that part, I want it to be just a black screen. So I cut it down to how much I need uh, and let's see where it drops. Perfect. Okay, so I've got my music perfectly synchronized where I want it to be. However, it's still too loud on this section. So I, I want it to be quieter here, but I want it to be loud here, right? Where the drone footage is, I want it to be loud, but we're talking here, so. That's way too loud. So what I want to do is, I want to take my, uh, I'll go here to the very end of that clip, select my music, cut. I cut it, I split it, right? This section, I can turn down the volume. You go here into the edit button, and you got a bunch of different options. You can mix the audio, you can turn up the volume even more, or down, I'm gonna turn it down to 20 and see if that's good and set up. No, I don't think we've ever seen that. Well thanks for holding it. Perfect. How, how you doing? Doing good? <laughs> doing alright? I, I noticed that your hand went down a little bit. Yeah, I, <laughs> I can see that. I think that's good. Okay. Looks good. So it's quiet here and then loud here. Perfect. Okay. That's it, guys. Now I got all this extra music here. Um, I don't want it, so I select. I select the song here. Press cut. Select this part. Delete. And that's it. That's my little clip that I wanted to create to show you guys for this video to show you how to use the video editing software the video editing app power director that's how easy it is guys so that's it i'm finished with my clip now i want to save it to my phone i press here i press produce video save to gallery you can choose what quality you want it to be in i'll choose the highest quality and just press produce and that's it it's going to take maybe a couple minutes check out the finished product. You have to have a DSLR camera and a microphone like that, and then you're considered a real vlogger. You're considered a real vlogger. The only reason I did it, really, I didn't need the extra quality <laughs> camera. I just wanted to look cool. <laughs> well, that, that's, oh, by the way, I don't think I've ever shown it. That's, that's how my setup looks like right now. Oh, it stopped recording. Um, I think my battery's dying. But I, I don't think I've ever showed my, my setup. No, I don't think we've ever seen that. Well, thanks for holding it. How are you doing? Doing good? You doing alright? I, I noticed that your hand went down a little bit. Yeah, I can see that.